works. We are going to play some doorways, chapter 1 and 2, which probably means there will be more chapters in the future. The game is developed by, as it says on top, Cybot Studios, which is an Argentinian indie developer. As of now, I cannot see if they have done any other games, I don't think they have, and they probably are planning to just make more um, chapters in this game series. Now, as you can also see, I've set the meta score to a 71 in between parentheses, and the re reason I've done this is because it doesn't actually have a critics rating at this point. This is just a user made a score. But the critics, for what I've seen, are the ones that did do the review are kind of low scoring. Kind of say that it's a bit yawn, you know, not a very interesting game, a bit boring. But we'll have to find that out as we play it ourselves. Clearly, it's a game inspired a bit by Amnesia, as uh, many horror titles these days are. And that's not necessarily a bad thing, I like Amnesia a lot. So, we're gonna have a go at it, see how it works out, and uh, should be fun, hopefully. Loading. <laughs> Press a key. Alright, we will press a key. We have been assigned some cases. These psychopaths must be found. The other agents couldn't get them. But I can do it. Well, of course the weird mask again, right? We are uh, doing a Halloween stream or doing a Halloween stream. Here we go. Here we go. Looking around, looking around. It seems like I've set the sensitivity on quite a good level, because it's comfortable and all good. The opening is a bit like uh, Binding of Isaac, where it shows me the controls and stuff at the very start of the game. So I can jump. Yep, there we go. I can crouch. Yep, all works. And I can slow down. Even though I'm not even running right now. But yeah, you're right. I can slow down. Normal speed, slow down speed. Alright. Push button to interact. Pull objects to... Well, I can't really test that right now. And here we have the credits, which of course we are not going to pay attention to just yet. We're just going to venture forth through this fairly... Ooh. There we go. Fire on demand. Very, very modern. Right. What we have here? Seemingly a door. Can't do anything with. Oh, and what we have there is another sort of door we can do nothing with. Alright. So we'll go to the one. Bi oh! Cutscene. The journey will not begin until you are ready. What do you need? A box to keep valuable objects. A place to locate notes, letters, and other papers. A bag to put tools to use when necessary. Okay. Um, does that mean that this door I can't go through until I get at my stuff? I guess, yes. So a box, a bag, and a place to do some. Get what we need. Yeah. Oh. Okay. We have three ways we can go, probably for the three requirements. So let's go for the one door that opened. Get our first thing we need. Uh, shit. We can go left and right. Um, or not. Yeah. Wait, I'm gonna go the other way real quick. See what that says. Do 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 do. Nothing. There's nothing to do here. What the hell? All right, then we'll go back. Go back. We'll crouch. It's actually interesting to see how low that is. Normally, with 
that low a gap, you would think you would have to go prone. You know, go on your belly, but nope. Okay. Oh, more text. Hold mouse over objects, push them and hold to attract them. You must... If you if you found an item, focus on it and then press mouse 1 to pick it up. Okay. Uh, trying to... Okay, I can't push that thing, but I can push this thing. There's nothing in there. Ooh, but there is something here. It's a book. Is it? No, it's a box. It's a box for relics. For some reason I see the button of my controller for it, even though I'm not using a controller right now. It's always annoying when games do that. Okay, I guess that is all there is. So let's press tab. There's the box. Oh. No, whoa. Okay. I guess this was already in the box. Some sort of... Um, trying to make sense of this box real quick. This is the one item I have. And I'm not seeing any possibility to examine it. So let's leave that. Okay. Um... Guessing I have what I need. Would be nice if the game recognized that by telling me, yeah, good job. I'm gonna go back and see if any other door opens. I mean, that would be the indication that what I'm doing is correct, right? Yep, it closed and that one opened. Alright, we're doing the right thing. Very nice. Nice indeed. Can we swim? Do I want to find out? Eh, what's the worst that can happen? Whee! Okay, I cannot duck in the water. So, uh, how do we get out? Uh, get out! That dirty, stationary water. It's probably very filthy. Alright, more text. Move forward and hit jump. Oh. At the same time, you, okay. D D D D D D D D. Oh, yes, we made it. We got ourselves a notebook with an. Oh wait, no, it said it said which button N. I can use N for this. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing in this place. Is it a dream? It feels too real for that. One second, I just want to see what the book. Oh, that says R. Okay, so if I press R. Yep. There's my inventory. R and N, so it shows both. Okay. Was too quick to judge. Here we go. No. Oh, yes. Alright. Got a notebook, and we got a little box we can put stuff in. Now we just need ourselves a bag. That's all. Wait to find some more stuff out about myself. There's a note here that we can grab. The walls in this cave oh. seem to be closing in on me, but something about this place seems familiar. I feel calm for some reason. My belongings, or what I think are my belongings, are here. I'm. I'm kind of confused here. I'm thinking that this perhaps was the game where that this is the same voice actor as the one that did the voice for Amnesia. And otherwise he sounds very much like him, but I think this is the same voice actor. I think I read something about it. I just I wasn't sure if this was the same game he was in. And yes, traumatic experiences because of the water. Make your own way to get to the top. Okay. So we can move stuff. No doubt. Here we go. Just moving this rock along. <laughs> Very weird. I wish... I, I mean, I guess this is more realistic than picking it up. But I wish it was more like amnesia, just picking it up. But oh well. There we go. Easy peasy. And we grab a bag. I. I. There we go. Oh. That all that is in it, I guess so. Oh wait, now I actually have it. Okay. 
Okay. Oh, well, yeah, of course. This is the key to go into the big door. That's why it was linear. Because they didn't want me to get that key, of course, right away. That would be silly. Still didn't have to be linear. I mean, they could have just left the key with the last thing I, uh, you know, grabbed. Oh, boy. All right. Moving on. Oh, more text appeared, I guess. Yeah, well, basic gaming, right? Open your inventory by pressing tab. That. Boom. Boom, shakalaka. There we go. We are in. There's another note. There are things which are burned into my memory. My name is Thomas Foster. And my duty is to bring these four psychopaths to justice. I just hope to resist their sadistic influences. Their corrupted minds could overpower my own. I will find them. I must. My name is Thomas Foster. My name is Daniel. No wait, Thomas Foster, shit. Okay, there's another door here. We have a task to bring some psychopaths. And I got an achievement. No more introduction. So I guess now the real game can start. Well, maybe it's scary, we'll see. There's a key? Yes! Chapter 1. The Forest of Stakes. A vampire's nightmare, truly. Holy crap, okay. Wow. This is one weirdly designed forest. <laughs> Reminds me a bit of the art from um, uh, The Lion King. Okay. Not the best of performance, I can feel it already. It's alright, we can deal with that. Not the worst either. The game is very, very dark. Wish I had a light of some sort. I can't even walk through here, I can't even see it. Where do we go? Do I have a light? I need a light. Can I grab a torch? No. Oh wait, there's something here. There we go. Jake Gibbs, London, England, 1962. Professor of History. Suspected for the kidnapping of 17 people, disappeared in the adjoining areas of a cabin owned by his family. The missing persons have in common certain indirect factors religions or pagan practices, foreign nationality, that are not reason enough for the local police to start an investigation. Doorways link the profiles of the victims to the topics in which Professor Gibbs specializes. Okay. <laughs> Unclassified. Now that I have this... Oh, okay, so it wasn't open because I had to find that piece of paper. Alright, smart. Very smart. Can I jump down here? Ugh. Ow. Alright, there's another piece of paper there. There's a little side road here. Which I kind of want to explore. I don't know, maybe I should go back for the piece of paper? Ah, well, there's something here. What is it? It's a torch! Okay. How can I lit this torch? There we go. Yeah. Oh, there we go! Ha <laughs> ha! Ah! We got ourselves a fire! Okay. And it's off. <laughs> that doesn't last very long. Text. Another guy. No. I'd arrived at the crossroads. I knew I had to keep going and follow his steps if I wanted to find the professor. But I found something about the place absolutely terrifying. I felt trapped, oppressed by those dark veils. And I knew that I wouldn't be able to stand a single minute lost in the darkness. I need to find a light source as soon as possible. I already have that. So, don't you worry about a thing. 
Okay.